The state of North Carolina and the city of Charlotte are known for the sport of NASCAR and seen it give them so much. Now their mission 600 is giving back, saluting America's military. Austin Dillon usually spends his spare time going nearly 200 miles per hour on the racetrack for the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series. But this week, he switched out his helmet for a life vest. I think you got the large and we got the extra large. <laughs> here, here, trade it off. Dillon was at the Wrightsville Beach Coast Guard Station to take part in Mission 600, a partnership between the Charlotte Motor Speedway and the Department of Defense to salute America's military. It's a very cool um, experience to be able to see what the, they have uh, put all the hard work and effort they've put into to be able to take these jobs over so um, I'm uh, just proud to be here and um, thank them for their service. The driver of the number three car and two members of his racing crew spent the day with the Coast Guard men and women going through training exercises both on and off the water. And we see kind of the same stuff that the Coast Guard does as what we're doing you know their checks and stuff and making sure everybody's on the same page and knows their role knows their job and you know it, it really helps with the end product. The visit to Wrightsville Beach was the fifth stop on the Mission 600 tour around the region as they incorporated all five branches of the U.S. Armed Forces and for the members who got to stand side by side with some of NASCAR's best it was something they won't forget. For them to get the chance to see how fluid literally and figuratively the life on the water is in a boat as compared to how rigid it is in the car on the track it's got to be a unique experience for them. I hope they enjoyed it today. Dylan will take to the track in less than a month at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Coca-Cola 600. And as a part of the 600 Miles of Remembrance program, the three car will carry the name of a fallen member of the U.S. Armed Forces on his windshield during the race. It's, it's special. Um, and we have the flyovers and everything that goes into that race. The, the preview of it is, is fun for us to watch and, and see those military represented well. 